in this lecture we are going to complete the rest of the slab so for that first of all you need to select the slab and after that we will open up the setting by pressing ctrl t and here uh, we uh, have these settings so what i'm gonna do here is that i will make this 250 okay and i will make this one minus 50 as per our project requirement so you will see you will see the difference in this 3d view there okay so don't worry about that you can see that we have shifted this one to 250 the thickness and just uh, lifted this one by minus 50 so let's simply click on okay now after that you can see that right now we are in this uh, uh, method polygonal mode so what you have to do next is you just simply need to select this point here okay after just escape just select this point and after that take your mouse cursor to this point here okay at this edge and again you have to click here and again take your mouse cursor to this region just like that and then take your mouse cursor all the way to this region here and then again here and then again you have to take your mouse cursor to this region as you can see here the if you look at the angle that is 90 90 percent here but if you want an exact uh, 90 100 percent 90 degree angle in that case what you have to do is you have to press a and set the angle to 90 okay now the angle has been set what you can do here is that you can just take your mouse cursor just like that and just take your mouse cursor here okay it is at 90 degree again you have to click here and take your mouse cursor to this region here okay uh, but uh, what you can do here is that let's simply select on this one now we have successfully modeled our slab so let's click go to select mode and let's click here and you can see that we have model our slab here okay just like that now if you want to model this slab in this region as well what you can do here is that you can just simply uh, click on this one and after that you will get this option that is the add to polygon after that you have to well, let's say choose this section and you can click here and then after that you can click on this point click on this point here and then take your mouse cursor click here then again click here so in this way also you can add this uh, uh, slab here so now let's uh, look at the 3d view so this is our 3d view as you can see here i'm just rotating it, rotating it by shift and middle mouse scroll and you can see that we have modeled this slab just like that now if you want to model the slab on this side as well uh, we are going to uh, do also model the slab in this side as well so for that uh, we are going to use some uh, different uh, uh, thickness and settings so let's see that what settings these so what i will do here is that i will press escape and uh, press escape and after that i will select this slab tool again after that simply enter ctrl t so here what i will do is i will make this one 300 and this one minus 50 that is fine and after that uh, let's close this one and make sure that you are in this mode that is the polygonal mode and after that you just simply need to select this point this one and take your mouse cursor all the way up to this one here this region then click here and then let's go to the initial point so now we have uh, successfully modeled the slab on this side as well after that we have to model the slab in these regions as well so what i will do is uh, i will again make some changes in the slab tool so i will simply enter ctrl t and here what I will make this one 100 and this one as 0 okay these are all these things are as per pro your project requirement in your case you don't record these kinds of things so 
that's totally depend on your project so after that just simply click on ok so after that what I will do here is that I will simply click on this point here and I will drag up to let's say uh, 3000 hit enter and again you have to take your mouse cursor to this fourth number grid okay and let's simply select match it here just like that again take your mouse cursor here here you can see and after that just take it to the initial point and now we have successfully modeled the slab on this side as well so now let's look have now let's have a look at the 3d view so this is what we have modeled okay let me go to the arrow tool and you can see that what we have modeled till now is this is what we have modeled as you can see here so in this way you have to model the slab as you can see this is very easy so now let's go back to the ground floor so this is the end of this lecture.